Hi everyone, it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel. After the first time pouring video that I created last time, I really was disappointed or I thought I was disappointed with the way the pours came out. I just obviously my first time I wasn't able to do them that well and I am going to try new products and try new things. But I thought to myself, okay, I have these like poured panels and canvases and what do I do with them? I actually did one more which I didn't show on camera which is this one which I really really love and I just thought oh let me try this I had leftover paint and I just ended up pouring this one this one is definitely my favorite and I do love this one it looks like some kind of like ocean wavy thing it does have a lot of texture so I do believe I made some mistakes and that's okay because I mean I'm learning from this I'm doing this I'm no expert at this but I just thought to try it out on camera and do different things with it now I have these panels and yeah, you can definitely like use them and hang them like this. But I was thinking what else could I do with these to create something a little bit different. So I had a couple of ideas. One of the ideas, which I'm not gonna do today, but I thought it would be a cool idea to do, is to use molds to create pieces on top and add to this. So for example, I took a mold of this Prima flower using some amazing cast resin and I thought this would be really cool if I painted it in black or if I just um, used it on this as well. I almost want to pour on this as well and I'm going to test that as well. I just don't have time today to test that but I thought pouring on molds would be a great idea as well. I also have like a smaller rose, it could be gears, could be anything and you could just like you know add like pieces like this and paint them or even leave them in white. So I thought that was a really good idea. But what I wanted to do today is I got these really cool dies from Paper Rose the studio from Australia. They were at Creativation and I have a video on all the other booth and how beautiful their dies are. And I thought that if I use their dies to cut out a black piece of paper or cardstock and you could add it as on the panel so let me show you what I mean this die is really really cool it's a little girl riding a horse and my daughter is horse obsessed she loves horses so much and this literally looks exactly like my daughter with the ponytail and everything if you see a picture that I have here on my table look at this I've used it for some scrapbooking pages and I just love this photo shoot of her and the horses so I thought it would be a really cute thing to add to a panel and I cut it out of black cardstock. Now look how cool this looks when I add it onto this. So I'm going to just split these up and move these aside so you can see. Look how cool that looks. It looks like a sunset and I just thought this was so nice to just add to this and I can do it using some gel medium or some fluid matte gel medium. So I'm going to get this matte medium. This is a Liquitex one. It doesn't really matter which one you use. I just want something that would be liquidy enough because these are very thin. And I want something matte because I don't want this all to be very glossy. However, if you do want it to be glossy, then you can use the glossy medium. So I'm just going to add some medium to the background and then add this on so any type of design would work any type of dyes or anything would go and I'm going to just add an extra little piece of black right here because this wasn't long enough and I thought this was a really cute gift to give her she hasn't seen it yet I think she's really going to be happy when she sees this And just make sure everything is glued properly. I mean, these dies are divine and they're available at Simon Says Stamp. And I have everything linked below. I'm not sure if all the dies that I'm using today are available, but definitely they carry a huge selection of these. So it's really cool. How neat is that? And I'm even thinking that I could paint the edges in black if I really want to or just leave it the way it is. So I will add an extra piece of black. Actually, I might have one over here. Let me just do that. Usually I would just cut the piece, but right now I just don't have one here. So, okay, well, I don't like that it's, it shows, but it will dry clear. So there is the 
one that I can give to my daughter. And I could always add a little title to this and that's really cool as well. The other idea I had was for this one, I'll show you. And I just have to figure out which way I want the to face. We have these really nice dye. It's this one, they're called wheatgrass. And I wonder if it should go like this. Yeah, that looks really cool. Or let's see, I mean, the nice thing about these is that you can choose which way to go. There you go. So I think it almost looks like an ocean, the seaweed. I don't know. No, I like it the other way around. So let's do this. I'm going to glue this one as well over here. And then for this one, I see a lot of white around. So I could, I definitely want to add some black on the edges. So I'll do that as well. So let me just do this. Oh, and you know what? I am going to glue this direction because I do I did cut two of them and I want to add the second one here. So we'll see. I'm not sure which piece I want to do because it wasn't long enough. So I think it's a great idea to do. I thought these dies are perfect. But as I said, you could use any dies for this as well. And really good quality dies. I was really impressed with the quality. They cut on the first time every single time. I didn't have to run it twice through my Vagabond. So I really like that. And I'm thinking maybe like, maybe I'll cut this a little bit. I'll cut a piece out of it. I can always use this for another. I can save some of these for a different one. So let's see. That looks good. There we go. So I'm going to add an extra piece over here. And you could double layer these if you really want to. And I'm going to let these dry. So that way I can add the black around it. I just these I just think these would be such a cute gift for somebody. And they're perfect for this. So let's dry this one as well. I'm going to put it here on the side. And then I'll show you the next one, the next idea that I had. The only one I couldn't find an idea for was for this one. So I'm not sure. I might redo something on this one. So I might not do anything for it. The next one I have is this little one. And I thought this was really neat. I have another similar thing, which is like a little tree. And I thought, I mean, this is not long enough for it but it's still really cute so how not cute is that so let me just cut this up here i don't need this piece and these are really nice as well let's see if we can uh, you know what let's see if this looks nicer this way i want that pink to show through oh there we go that's better okay so there we go so besides using molds and other things, I think you could use different pieces of die cuts to embellish these as well. And you're going to love the last one, the one with the blue. I came up with something really cool. So I thought the die for that is fantastic as well. There we go. So that's the tree. How cute is that? And then finally, I have this blue one that I did create as well. And I thought for this one, they do have a lot of geometrical shaped dies, such as things like this one or that one, which I didn't use. But I used, oh, and there's also this one, which is gorgeous as well, but I didn't use these ones. What I used is this really cool, intricate design where you have a double layered um it's called a moroccan tile and it goes one on top of the other and what i did is i cut one in black and one in white so the background is white and then the other one is black and i thought this will look so cool you can make a tile out of this and it looks really really nice so you could hang a tile you can put a title on it i mean everything anything goes so i'm going to glue the white one first oops and then I'm going to do glue the black one on top. So I love, I love using a uh, matte medium. Prima just came out with a uh, matte uh, fluid medium as well. I think it's matte as well. I don't have it yet, but I do have this one from Liquitex. So that's really good to 
actually glue very thin things like papers or tissue paper, things like that. Hold on, I need some more. I think I need some more of here. It's kind of like taking it over. Okay, I'm going to glue this and then I'm going to come over with some and then I'm going to seal it with the actual medium as well. It's not really straight. I need to put it as straight as possible. I'm eyeballing it, which I guess maybe is not the greatest thing to do, but I just love this one. It's so cool. Okay, and then I'm going to put the black one. And the nice thing is about it is that it dries matte, so you will not see the any any glue in the background so how cool is that so you can create these really nice tiles or you can do what i did over here with the tree so i guess this one i'm going to leave for another day i didn't cover it enough it came with some really cool designs but it's not what i wanted to use so i'm just going to use these four instead i think they look really really cool and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit of black gesso. This is the heavy black gesso. And I'm, and I'm going to grab a little bit of black gesso. You could also use black paint, but I don't. I want it to be matte. And the gesso here dries matte as opposed to the paint, which dries a little bit more shiny. And I'm going to start with this one, for example. And I'm going to paint the edges because that will make it all match so it's kind of hides any mistakes that I might have made or basically the glue, the white areas. And it actually gives it a frame as well. So it will look really, really nice. So there is the black one, which is cool because it looks framed. I'm going to make it a little bit more distressed, a little bit more distressed with a really dry brush. You can create... And I'm not even adding anything. It kind of looks like the a little bit more distressed. It looks really, really cool. For this one, I also want to paint it in black on the edges. So here's a solution that you can do for something if you don't know what to do with your pores. So I just thought this was this was really cute to do. So that's cool. I just want to maybe maybe I'll just do a little bit of a border here. A very thin border. So that looks cool. And you know what? You could even add some stamping. I think that would look like it would look really, really neat as well. Let me see. I'll bro I might bring some of some textured stamps. Okay. I think it looks really cool with the black border. So I'm going to do the same thing here, even though I love the border in this one. I specifically worked on this border. I think it looks really nice to just have it in black. It adds a little bit more character to that. If you know somebody that loves horses, then this is like the perfect thing. And they have different designs with horses. It's really, really nice. So there you go. And the last one is this tile, which I'm going to do the same thing to. So here are four of them that I created and I added all the black around it and now I thought you can even do more stuff with it if you really want to. For example, I could stamp, use some stamping. So I have these like mini stamps. I thought it would be cute, even something like this one. I'm going to grab some stays on because I'm not sure if archival link will work on this, but stays on will stays on anything. And I'm just going to grab my stamp and just create a few markings on this one over here. Let me move this one to the side a little bit. So, I don't remember where I put the ink. Okay, 
No, it didn't work. Maybe my stays on is very wet. Oh, there it is. Okay, so you could add design to this as well. It annoys me all the sound that it makes. I want to put this on this. Maybe it will not make such a sound. Okay. You can really cool, create cool patterns. A script stamp would be look really good. I mean, anything goes, right? Like you can just embellish this if you want to more. Okay, there we go. So that you can do is stamping, which is just a cute idea to do. Then another thing you can do, and I'm going to bring this over, is for this one, for example, it almost looks like a kitchen tile or something like that. So you could put something like this plaque. It says home on it. I think it would be cute to just add that. I'll glue that. So just you putting it in the center and not much else. So you can put any type of plaque. You, there, like Tim Holtz has really nice plaques that have like beautiful messages on them. So you could do that as well. I mean, there's so many options. I thought this was really cute. That says home on it. So there we go. And you can give this as a present to somebody. It's really, really nice. For this one, I was thinking of something like tissue paper. Like this is Dina, Dina Wakely's tissue paper. And we can just cut a saying out of this. And you can just add this onto it. So the nice thing about the tissue paper, it kind of blends into the background. I thought it would be cute to add this to it. So you can have a, a something like that where it says something or you could easily use uh, some kind of word title or th something like that. I mean you would have to find this or even words that work. Adventure awaits you. There's so many these different things but I think I'm going to leave this one like this. I really like it the way it is. I don't want to add any title to this. I just want to give it to my daughter the way it is. So I think that's really nice. So I'm going to show you all four. I'm going to put them all here so you can see them. And this is it. I hope you enjoyed my little quick video on how, what to do with your pourings. I am going to attempt more pours in the future. So I'm really excited to try some things with other mediums as well. So stay tuned for more videos. So thank you so much. And if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media. For more inspiration, subscribe to my channel. And also visit me on Instagram at ktamir or on any of my other social medias. You can look at my website. It has all the links there. Thank you so much and have an amazing day. Bye.